releasing a smallmouth bass in this country could cost you five hundred thousand dollars that's what we're going to talk about right now if you like this kind of content click that like and subscribe button become part of the team and family and let me just say thank you i'm going to mention some members so caro thank you thank you for being part of the team and the family and a member for so long i really do appreciate it but if you're not a member or subscriber you should be because it's free so click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team releasing a smallmouth bass in certain counties in nova scotia could cost you five hundred thousand dollars actually the first offense is a hundred thousand dollars the second offense could be up to five hundred thousand dollars and two years in jail think about that now i have to look down at my notes because they won't stand up there but the department of fisheries and aquaculture has implemented a catch and kill for all smallmouth in three counties in Nova Scotia. Anglers caught releasing smallmouth or chain pickerel in these areas could get or could look at a fine of $100,000 for their first offense. And the second offense is up to $500,000 and two years in jail. But why? In the 40s, the Department of Fisheries and Agriculture had legal smallmouth put into their lakes and ponds for sport fishing. They wanted to boost the sport fishing industry. There were a lot of people that were catching salmon or trout, and they felt like smallmouth bass would be a good opportunity to continue to develop anglers going out there and fishing. But now they're regretting that. It's been, well, almost 80, 90 years almost. And they're regretting it because the species is now going after salmon and trout. And at the same time, hurting the food sources for trout and salmon. So they want all anglers who catch them to instantly kill them. This also goes for the chain pickerel, who that was illegally put into the waterways. The smallmouth were legally. The chain pickerel were illegal. And smallmouth and chain pickerel have devastated the population of trout. And what they've noticed is, is that salmon fishing has had, has had recent concerns due to water levels and temperatures. And what happens is when the water levels go, the fish congregate into a certain area. And those fish that are chain pickerel and smallmouth then feed on the trout and salmon. And it makes them just easier prey for the smallmouth and chain pickerel. And many of the local anglers have asked for this to be a mandate for a long time. They don't want the smallmouth in their areas. They don't want the chain pickerel in those same areas too. And they feel like that there's an opportunity for these fish to move to different areas and to start to devastate those, those areas too. So why not implement a catch and kill for smallmouth and chain pickerel? And there's really no date when they're going to stop doing this. Their plan is just to wipe out the population of smallmouth and chain pickerel. Which leads me to my question. Imagine you're on that water, don't know the rules, go out there, go fishing, you're catch and release most of the time, catch a smallmouth bass, and out of nowhere, you're getting a $100,000 fine. Now I'm sure they're doing their due diligence into making sure everybody knows the rules, but imagine you're out there and it's a $100,000 fine or a $500,000 fine and possible two years in jail. Now, Nova Scotia has a really great trout and salmon population, a great fishery too. I know anglers that go fish here that go over to Nova Scotia every couple of years to fly fish for giant, big trout and salmon. And introducing them so far in the, in the past and now realizing the mistake now offers a lot of questions on why they did it in the first place. But they're looking back and now moving forward. But imagine those fines. And really, I want to know if someone does get fined, to be honest. I really want to know if someone gets fined and how that works for that person, because that is a hell of a lot of money. But maybe their exchange rate is drastically different, and in the 100000 fines only $4.50. I don't know. That's a joke, of course. I don't know what the exchange rate is, but imagine getting a fine for $100,000. That's crazy. So what do you think? I know this isn't a story about inside the states but this is something that i found quite interesting to be honest as someone who's always been a catch and release person because i don't eat fish i know i'm going to shock people and, I, and and that's life but i don't eat fish so everything i catch gets released but i'm not planning to go to nova scotia anytime soon i'd love to go there and go fishing but it isn't in the works so what do you think crazy not crazy 
good way to get this population of smallmouth and chain pickerel out of the waterways that they have? Is this the way to do it? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Kill them if you're in Nova Scotia. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.